Hi everyone, my name is Mike Mello, broker associate and owner at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. Today we're in Davenport, Florida. We're gonna show you this home behind us. It's a five bedroom, four and a half bath home with 2,451 square feet of living and it's offered for $544,990. Now this is a really nice area because we're really close to all the Disney attractions and Central Florida attractions and you can rent this one on the Airbnb program so there's no limit on the shortness of the lease that we have on this specific home. So come up, follow me. We have a paved driveway going to a two-car garage. Currently still a two-car garage. A lot of the vacation rentals, if you use it for vacation rental, they convert that into a big game room. But follow me this direction as we come through the paved driveway to the front. Really nice stonework on the front of the house, double doors in front of us. So let's go inside and check out this home. All right, so welcome into the home. We have really nice floors throughout the first floor of this home. Over to our left is the garage. So let's go ahead and go to the garage to show you what we have in here first. So as we walk in, they have nice painted floors. Over to the left, they have a foosball table, so you can play foosball, pool table, a little portable air condition, and as we continue around, an office area, a little sitting area for if you want to eat snacks or a little lunch. And then behind us is the laundry room with the washer and dryer. Now, if you do this on the Airbnb, I recommend doing some modifications to this specific home. First of all, make this into a little bit nicer of a game room with some pretty cool, like maybe the foosball tables, paint the walls with some of the Disney characters. That's what gets people to come and rent. The kids see the Disney characters and they actually want to come and play with the different arcade games and stuff. So, but follow me this direction as we come back through to the main home. Over to the left is the stairs going up, really nice wood stairs going all the way up with the white railing. Over behind me, we come to this really nice hangout area. Over to the left is a formal dining room set up for six people, light fixture above us. On the other side, a little living area where you can sit down, enjoy, do some reading, talk to your friends and family. So let's go ahead. There's another neat feature is through the dining room. If we continue to go through, it goes right into the kitchen. So it's nice and convenient for cooking and then coming and eating right next door. So follow me this direction. Behind this door is a half bath. So it's the half bath of the four and a half baths that this home has. So nice and convenient right here by the living areas. And then we come to our main family room. Family room has a nice TV on the wall, sectional couch, a little seating area on the far side as well. As we look up, this has 20 foot plus ceilings, a couple picture windows up there, plant shelf. Uh, you can definitely do quite a few things with this home. Make it pop, especially if you're gonna put it on that Airbnb program to get the renters in it. Behind us is a sliding glass door, goes out to a covered patio and the pool area, which is a necessity if you do the rental programs. So let's go ahead and take you over to the kitchen. We have the center island, currently set up for four people to sit around. And as we continue, it is raised a little bit, which is really nice, and then lowers down a little bit to where the sink is. On the far side, we have these really nice, they're like bluish gray cabinets that go all the way around with the microwave oven and you know really nice countertops. Right behind the camera, which Jonathan is operating today, is the pantry so you can put all your stuff there. Now, with a, there are people that live here right now, so this is their main home, but with the rental program, obviously that would be kept empty for the most part. Refrigerator behind me, and you can see to the right going into the dining room. So follow me this direction, we'll go back through. On the left, the sink, more cabinets, dishwasher, and then in front of us is the breakfast nook currently set up for six people to sit around, a couple of windows for plenty of natural light. And over to the left, one of the many sliding glass doors going out to the outdoor living area. So follow me out here. And we have a covered patio. The covered patio has a sectional couch, table on the far side. I would put a summer kitchen back there if I bought this home with a really nice barbecue, refrigerator, sink and everything on that back wall. That would be a perfect spot for it. Lounge chairs, and then the pool. The pool is a nice sized pool. Jacuzzi on the far side with a waterfall. And then you have some steps coming down. You can easily do laps back and forth. It is screened, which is really nice in Florida. That does keep the bugs out. So it's nice and enjoyable when you're out here swimming and enjoying the Florida weather. And right now we're in, we're in March or March 2nd of 2024. And it's warm outside where it's snowing really hard up north. So definitely a good vacation place. You can use it when you come down for your vacations and then rent it out when you're not here and make some money from it as well. So let's go ahead and go back inside the home, show you the bedrooms that we have down here. So if you follow me this way, we'll zigzag through the family room. As we go, you can see a little nook here where you can 
a little table and some decorations if you wanted to on this side, a little picture on the far, far wall. And then you come to the hallway, we have two bedrooms in either direction. And both of these are en suites, which is really nice. They both have their own bathrooms. So we go to this one first. We have a full size bed, couple end tables, sliding glass door that goes out to the outdoor living area. So it's really nice and convenient. If you're here on vacation, just open up that and you can take a dip in the pool. Uh, behind me is the closet. And right next door is its full bathroom. So as we come into the bathroom, we have our white cabinets, countertop sink. You can see Jonathan in the mirror there. And we have toilet, and then on this side here, the tub with the tile going up the wall. So let's go ahead and go back and go to the other ensuite, which is right on the other side. So this will be, that's bedroom two, this will be bedroom three. So as we come to bedroom three, this one's got a couple twin beds, and then on the far side, a closet. So if I open up the closet, you can see I have plenty of space. And I close this back up. Uh, on the other side is the bathroom. So we walk in, we have some tile floors, the white cabinets, the same sort of sink that we saw in the other bathroom with your toilet on the far side, the exact same thing that we saw with the tub and tile. All right, so let's go on the other side and show you now. If I was uh, buying this home, I would definitely put some theme rooms in here, put some theme furniture so that it will really attract the kids because if you attract the kids, then the parents will rent it and you can really get some good money. So if you are interested in doing vacation rentals here in Florida, make sure you give me a call. My name is Mike. My phone number is 407-487-3030. I'll tell you all about it and then we can look at all the different options here. This one's a pretty good option for doing those vacation rentals. So let's go ahead and go upstairs, show you the additional bedrooms upstairs and finish up the video. All right, here we are on the second floor. Let's go ahead and go down the hallway show you bedrooms number four and five. To the right is bedroom four. It's currently a child's bedroom. We have a bunk bed, all their personal effects. On the far side, the closet. So I open that up and you have plenty of space there for all your clothes. So right in between bedrooms four and five, we'll have a full bathroom. The bathroom has tile floor, the same sink that we saw on the other bathrooms downstairs, toilet, and the same sort of tub and tile combination on both of the other bedrooms downstairs. This will be bedroom number five. It's got full-size bed, cabinet, TV. Now, one thing I didn't mention about earlier is that everything here, all the furniture stays. The only thing that goes are the clothes and the closets and any personal effects, but all your main furniture and even the TVs all stay with the home, with whoever purchases the home. So let's go ahead and on the other side, we do have a closet. So plenty of space in here as well. All right, so follow me onto the other side. We'll check out the office area and also the primary bedroom. So as we come here, we have like a bridge that goes across from those two bedrooms to the primary bathroom. Uh, bedroom. We have the railing uh, over on the other side of the railing. You get a good view of the family room, kitchen, and the breakfast nook. As we look up, we see the two picture windows looking out on the beautiful floor today. Over to the left, is an office of course this is a flex space you can use this as like if i was doing the rental program i'd probably change this into like a little kids play area with maybe some arcade games maybe that foosball table would fit up here when we can do some other things down in the garage do some nice murals on the wall to really get it uh you know sort of popping for those people that are coming here to enjoy their disney or universal vacation so let's go ahead through this door this is the primary bedroom suite King size bed and table on your side, two windows on the far side. It's a really nice space, large space, plenty of space, even for a couch on the far side. Nice TV on the far wall, and then above us, a fan. So, what's left is going through this hallway to the bathroom for the primary bathroom. As we come into the primary bathroom to our left, we have a sink. We have two sinks, one on this side, one on that side. Behind this door is going to be the water closet, so nice and private. In front of me is the tub, so you can sit here and enjoy a nice bath with the window looking out on the front yard. Shower to the right of the tub and the other sink on the other side. So behind me, we have two closets. So they're both the same size. So you can sort of see the space that you have for the closet. And what's really nice is that this one does have a deadbolt on it, 
which is pretty common for vacation rentals because if you're using this for your vacation rentals yourself, you can then lock one of the closets and leave your personal effects in the closet. So whenever you come, you don't have to keep on bringing everything where you leave the one closet here for the guests that come. So perfect setup. So follow me back this way. We'll go past the bedroom again. Nice size is really nice size bedroom and come back over here to the railing, looking over this beautiful view of the family room, kitchen and breakfast nook. So that ends the tour of this, this uh, home. If you're interested in this home or any home in Florida, whether you're looking to buy or sell, make sure you give us a call at the Mellow Group at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. Again, my name is Mike. Uh, my phone number is 407-487-3030. You can call, text anytime. I'd be more than happy to talk to you about investing in real estate here in Florida. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.